Now I've reset the view again to turn on the temperature. The layers that we have coming in from the SPIRE data are all time enabled. So actually I'm able to uh, move through the temperature forecast here over the next seven days. And as I play that, you can see the temperatures uh, changing across the globe. That actually works for all of the, of the core layers, the temperature, the total rain, the atmospheric pressure, the humidity, and the wind speed. I've reset the view once again to highlight the heat map capabilities of the data that's streaming in. With one click, I'm able to create a heat map of current vessel positions. You can really see the buildup of traffic in the um, Mediterranean area and the North Sea, the Gulf of Mexico, and then moving out, of course, into Asia, where there's these giant sea, uh, sea routes moving through. This could be a really good way of quickly identifying hotspots of traffic.